Edward Mendes. Mendes. Yeah. Edward Mendes from uh, village. Yeah. I'm from Rai actually, but I stay in Marga. Resident in Marga. Yeah. Today, of course, we have come uh, for this program, which is uh, focusing on. Yeah, here. Yeah. It's a green club event in Taligaon. And Edward, uh, you you are the president. President of the, of the club. Yes. How, how going strong for uh, how long? Yeah. Uh, now we are five. Actually, the club is five years old. And yeah. it's actually second club in Goa after BSG uh, to be registered with the government of Goa. So second oldest club you can say. And, and very uh, active also. Very active. Now I have taken over as a president last June. And since then like uh, in seven months we have covered up six workshops on different topics. Wow. And we have this workshop like what? in different places. Like? Like on mostly the aim and objective of the club is like uh, kitchen gardening. And uh, we had the workshop on growing plants during the monsoon, like uh, summer season. Now this time we have it on bioenzymes and uh, cucurbits and uh, cloves, uh, sorry, on beans. Uh, how to grow and take care of them in the monsoon. Lot of interest, good interest, yes. no? About 30 people participating. Yes, 30. In fact, uh, the one of the workshop what we had in South Goa, we had around 70 people. Really? Yes, yes. We had it at Ravinder Bhavan and that was the start that we had. I see. Yeah, but now what is happening, like the timing, maybe the school yeah. are also going on so the parents can make it. And of course, we are having it in different places. So the crowd comes in some... Which areas are more interested than others, you uh, think? Now, if you go to see, we had one of the workshop in South Goa, which gave us a really good, uh, good, good yeah. response. So 70 is a big number that yeah. we had. Yeah. So after that, the other number is like 30, 40, 20. Which is equally good. Equally good. Last month, we had uh, hands-on training at uh, Divya Sadhan Porvari. Again, it was like on how to plant turmeric and all that, the vegetables and all for the monsoon. And we had a good response. People really enjoyed that. Uh, people uh, actually came out and started working. I see. There, yes. So Goa actually there. is quite a green friendly state, but yes. now we are recovering those roots, I think. Yeah, uh, we are going back to all our farming and kitchen gardening, Kulagar type of systems, uh, backyard gardening, and all that is starting back. Tell us about yourself, Edward. Uh, okay, uh, my background is actually I'm a computer engineer by uh, profession, uh, but unfortunately, due to certain reasons like health issues and all, I gave up my computers. Uh, I actually worked for a short time in Gulf. I see. And uh, in Europe countries, even in uh, US, uh, as a network engineer. And then after that, I came down to Goa because of health issues. I, I was allowed not to work. Yeah. Then I started a hotel management institute where I actually found that uh, Goa is lacking in vegetables and all that because I saw that hotels are buying all the exotic stuffs and all from outside, and it was difficult to get. So I started a business in uh, vegetable imports actually coming even from uh, South Africa and I see. Uh, yeah, New Zealand and all that through a principal in Pune and I used to supply it and COVID, before COVID it was really doing well but then again like you know COVID came and disrupted. That was, yeah, disrupted and that's the time it pushed me to go into full time agriculture. And today uh, you are experimenting with a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Like I, I, I have grown 200 apple plants in Goa of three different wow, varieties. Wow! Wow! And I have got my own variety, which is like apple uh, royal gala, which is actually a New Zealand variety, grown from a seed. Fruity? Like, fr not yet fruiting. It will take five years, so it's just two years old. So another three years. But do you think Goa could uh, grow uh, apples? This is tropical variety. is good for Goa, but Let's then see. again, uh, if we get a long rain, that's the worrying factor there. A long rain actually pushes the apple plant to go in the dominant stage earlier. Otherwise, I think it should adapt to this. And all this is at Raya? Uh, I have a small farm in uh, Chinchini, Chinchini, which is taken on Lee's Lake, and then I'm experimenting there different type of things. Over. What else? I've got blueberries growing, I've got wow. blackberries growing. Very I've innovative. Exotic fruits, actually. I've got uh, even uh, something called Indian pista. I see. Which is new to people in Goa. Really? Yes. Tastes and like the badam a bit? This itself. I see. The, the, this is like, you know, when you have them, it tastes like when it's kacha, yeah. it's like uh, badam. Kacha badam. Okay. When okay. you dry it, it tastes like a pista. I see. But it's called a Indian pista. I see. I've got cocos growing, then I've got uh, red bananas growing. Amazing. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got a farm which is altogether on a different level, which I've not uh, you know, like publicized because I'm still on the experiment basis. Yeah. So once I finish that, maybe in another one year's time, 
I'll make a publicity of that. But uh, what stops youngsters from venturing into uh, this field? It's tough. Yes. Gestation, long uh, gestation. They feel there is no profit. In I see. You need to be a smart farmer to make profits in this. And growing tamri baji, as I was talking to some of the participants today, growing tamri baji. Very low returns. Not, it is not going to give you that much of profit unless you do it on a large scale. So you need okay. to have a group of people coming together and doing it. And if you do it well, there is a good market for tamri baji in European countries. I see. Yes, there is a good market for it. So only thing is like the quality has to be maintained. So even on tamri baji, you can make a lot of money. You can sell tamri baji today at 150 rupees a kilo, which I people see. don't realize. I see. They feel it's not money. But only thing it has to be on a larger scale, not on a small scale. Small scale you don't make money. And of course the weather plays a role. So to sustain you have to have some other backing okay. or some other type of farming that you need to do. Understood. Now in my case I do paddy and along with the fruiting plants. So fruiting plant gives me money so I sustain it. Where do you see a group like this going? Uh, group of uh, people are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, see, uh, people actually they come out, they are interested, but somehow like you know they don't have the support, they don't... Sustaining. Sustaining. Part. But if there is a club like us and more clubs start and this help them... It could become a movement. Become a movement. And how do people join Green? Uh, through our workshops only. Through your workshops, yes. or they could contact you or Facebook they can contact, or WhatsApp. They can contact. We don't have a Facebook. WhatsApp. Account. WhatsApp is number. Best. Yes. Uh, number. Uh, okay, you forgot it. Maybe if you send it to me, we'll yes, share it in the yes, yes. We can in the description. Yes. Uh, in fact, our treasurer is looking after that actually. Yeah. The number. It's her personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing job you are doing. It's a it's a very good job, yeah. and I think it's very important because. In the it is, it is a need of the heart actually because people have got space, they don't know how to utilize it. And in, like in states like Kerala where every inch yes, every is, is, is you know, on the railway no, tracks. Even you if you have a 200 square meter and if they come to me, I can, you know, tie up with them and make some earnings. I see. Yeah. So I have projects like even hibiscus. There's a project, I, I work on hibiscus where it's converted into jams and all that. Really? And cordials and all that stuff. Hibiscus flowers? Yes. So, so you are saying you are virtually willing to franchise your, 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 your uh, knowledge? franchising it, but then yeah. right now franchising uh, actually puts some fear in people's mind. Okay. Like they feel, oh, uh, yeah. take over and yeah, take over things. So you are willing to, to work in college? Help them yeah. if they are there, we can associate, sort of an association can be done. Like, okay, they, they grow certain things, give it to me, I take it, I do the final produce and then market it myself. Yeah. Really good, yes. fantastic. So something different that we are planning now. Yeah. Maybe uh, we will include some activities of this in the Green Club in the future. It's All the very best. Yes. Keep it up. Keep yeah, up the good thanks. work. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah.